Thank you to Bernardo's for sponsoring this video. The Olympus Mu, or sometimes known as the Stylus, is an often overshadowed point and shoot. Its bigger brother, the Mu2, sucks up all the limelight. But how often is it that a sequel is better than the original? Except it's a camera, not a movie, so normally, yeah, it is better. <laughs> So Bernardo's invited me down to their base of operations to come and check out all the cameras they had listed for their eBay store, where they have hundreds of donations listed every week. There was a great variety from different SLR kits to Super 8 cameras to a bunch of different point and shoots, like the Olympus, which as you can tell, I ended up with. So if you don't know who Bernardo's are, they're a charity in the UK. Bernardo's works to protect, support and nurture the UK's most vulnerable children and young people no matter who they are or what they've been through. And their eBay store works alongside over 700 of their own charity shops to provide vital funding for Bernardo's charity work by giving customers access to the best donations from across the UK. So I thought that the Olympus would be a great little travel companion to kind of put it through its paces on a little holiday I was going on to LA. So that's pretty much what I did. I had it in my bag when I was away I put two rolls of Kodak Gold through it. I just had it in my bag with me and I'd take it out on some strolls when there was nice golden light. Which is pretty much every day. It seems like there's only one kind of state of weather in LA. It's, it's just not fair. <laughs> So, how did it perform? On the whole, I think it's pretty great. I've got no complaints about the lens, it's plenty sharp. It's a 35mm focal length, which in my opinion is the best for a point and shoot. And it does have an f3.5 aperture, which maybe isn't as good as an f2.8, which you might find in some of the more premium point and shoots. But realistically, if you're shooting a point and shoot to get shallowed up the field, maybe you should just use something else. Like an SLR would always outperform it. And if that wasn't your worry, if it was just light, it's got a flash on it for a reason. So to me, f3.5, I don't care, that's fine. And speaking of flash, it's pretty great. You can choose whether to turn it on or off. It's got an anti-red eye, and it's got a surprisingly good fill flash, which made this gem of a photo uh, from the balcony of the place we stayed at. I'm very impressed with this fill flash. It looks like I green screened myself in. And ergonomically, this might be one of my favorite point and shoots that I've ever used. It's got really great curves and bevels in like just the perfect places. It just makes it super comfortable to hold. And also, I just love clamshell designs. I think it's a great idea. It's really nice to know that everything is nice and protected when you throw it in a bag. And I actually like that it's made out of plastic and not the premium titanium of some of the more expensive cameras. It makes it much more lightweight and much less precious. So I'm not scared to throw it in a bag. And I'm sure if you dropped it or it picked up a ding, it wouldn't dent or scratch. So, you know, there's no real downsides to the cheaper build quality. And surprisingly, the shutter button is something which I enjoy quite a lot. It's weirdly oversized and weirdly, I love how kind of weighted the half press is. There's a really obvious difference between half press and clicking. So when you're trying to get focus and then recompose, you're never worried about kind of accidentally taking the shot. And I know that if you handed this to someone else and kind of instructed them, oh, press it down halfway and then then take the photo, I'm pretty sure they'd get it straight away. It's a really simple thing, but I've definitely used some point and shoots in the past where it hasn't been a very obvious difference between the two. One of the things that I'd normally be concerned about with a cheaper point and shoot is the focus. It's so frustrating to get a roll of film developed and see some of the photos that you're really excited about are completely blurry. But I have to say, that wasn't really the case here. Now of course there were a few, but I don't think I've ever shot a roll through a point and shoot where there's been a 100% hit rate. I shot two rolls of 36 exposures whilst I was away, 
and there was only 6 out of focus of the bunch of them, and I'm pretty sure I managed to squeeze 39 on each roll as well. So it's not too bad when you think about it. And who knows, some of them easily could have been user error, and I'm sure the more you use the camera, the more you get used to what photos you can and can't pull off. So I think that in the current market, the price point that this camera sits at makes it a really great option. The premium point and shoots have just reached insane value that I don't know if I can use them in the way that I'd like to. And at the end of the day, the results out of this camera come surprisingly close. So if you're not too bothered about using a camera that a celebrity has for that increased Instagram clout, why not give the Olympus Mu1 a go? I mean, don't even bother with the two. It's a bargain. So if you're interested in picking up a new camera like the Olympus, why not check out Bernardo's eBay store? Not only could you pick up something fun and new to shoot with, you could also help support an amazing charity that's doing really great work. So check out that linked in the description. And there's also a newsletter which you can join to stay updated with the cameras that they're listing. Hello, cool little bit of news. This camera, which I used, the very same one, is currently up on eBay on the Bernardo store. So you could support the charity and purchase the same camera that I used. And also there is a signed handprint included of one of the photos which I took with it. So if you fancy supporting the cause and picking yourself up a lovely print and camera, check it out in the description. So thank you very much for watching. See you soon.